Okay, hello everybody, and Happy New Year. First day of the new year. Let's hope that this year is better than what we've been having. Okay, let's try to get set up here. Okay, so we're going to do a read on Angel Avery. I've been having quite a few emails regarding her in this case. So I'm going to do a public read on her. Okay, so I know it's been a while since Angel Avery has gone missing. I believe that I have done some private reads on her way back when. I'm not exactly sure. I know I did at least one for somebody. But I've been getting like a slew of emails asking for this read. So I'm going to do a public read on it. Okay. Hopefully we can find out some stuff that's going to help find Angel Avery. Okay. Now I'm going to go back through um, Google when I'm done and see what I can get on regarding Angel, like her age and all that, because I really don't remember anything from the other read that I did on her. It was several months back, I think. But I've been, like I said, I've been getting a slew of requests to do a read on her publicly. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to ask if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That helps get this video out there so people can see this video and hopefully something in this read will help spark something in somebody's mind to help bring angel home okay and i'm also going to ask you to share this out on your social media to also help get anything that comes out in this read out that could possibly help find angel avery okay so we're going to start. I'm going to ask my ancestors, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, please connect with Angel Avery and her protectors, spirit guides, and angels, her protectors, to bring out the situation regarding Angel Avery. That's the ancestors for the situation regarding Angel Avery. situation regarding Angel Avery. Okay, so here's the situation, you guys. <clears throat> In the main part of the situation, we've got the crow, okay? The crow comes to tell us about revenge and evil people, okay? It's not a good card to come out. Okay, the ice comes out, and when this is what we've got to look into deeper. The ice tells me about something dissipating. In the secret position of the situation, we have something about a male. Okay, so we're going to go in for the messages. Let's see ancestors for the messages regarding Angel Avery. Ancestors for the messages regarding Angel Avery.
Okay, so don't forget, we are also going to go in for clarification cards on all of these cards. Okay, so what I've got is at the head is the rain, okay? Now don't forget, this connects this way, this connects this way, and this connects this way. The rain tells me about somebody either popping up or a change of plans, okay? I see something about neglect. I also see something about a party. And again, we have the crow, okay? The crow comes to warn us, revenge and evil people, okay? So I'm going to tell you, this is this is what happened, okay? This, this here is the situation, and this is the main part of the situation. This is what we've got to look into deeper, and this is in the secret position, which we don't know yet, which hasn't come to light yet. This here just clarifies what happened and gives validation to this, okay? So we know that there's the crow here, which comes to warn us about revenge and evil people. We have things dissipating, and we have a male. So in the main part of the situation, we got the rain. The rain tells me about somebody popping up or a change of plans, the neglect, the party, and the crow. There's something going on here. Okay, in the secret position, we got again, somebody popping up or a change of plans, something about a caretaker, and we got the dark with this mail card, okay? The dark means things are being covered up and hidden from people. Something about a caretaker and a male. Okay, so what we got to look into deeper, we have the rain. We have roads, which talks to me about traveling, about going a distance, about movement. And I've got the dissipation, okay, with the ice. Okay, so let's go in for clarification on the situation, which are the bottom three cards here. The ancestors for clarification into the situation regarding Angel Avery. The ancestors. Whoops. And that one flew out. Okay, so you guys know when cards fly out, I believe that it's the person I'm reading. They have something to add to the reading that they don't think is going to come out in the read. Ooh. For clarification in this situation regarding Angel Avery. And there goes another one. <sighs> okay, let me just check my camera, you guys, because I just hit it. Okay, so the second card came out. For clarification into the situation regarding Angel Avery. this crow okay and I told you what the crow means the crow comes to warn us about people that are out for revenge and evil people and I've also got the suicide card okay so the suicide card just take my glasses off there they're hurting my head <clears throat> the suicide card can mean an actual suicide or this can also mean somebody who has mental health issues okay some kind of mental health things going on Okay, with this dissipation, I feel that this is, oh, okay, I've got to relight the candle. Sorry, you guys, but this candle has gone out and I don't like that. And see, when I picked up the dissipation, the candle went out, I feel that she has crossed. And that's weird because there's, as you can see, there's a lot left in this candle. So I don't know why it went out when I picked up this, but I feel like she has passed. 
this is, you know, as ice melts, it melts and it goes away. So I feel that she ha she is deceased. But I also get this reunite. Somebody that she had reunited with. So this is somebody she knows. Somebody that she reunited with had a hand in this. Okay. I also get that it was a male. And I also get they know. So I believe there's more than just this male involved or that knows about it. I think there's somebody else that knows too. I also got the party card, party of three. So this would be her and this would be two other people. So I believe there's there's three people involved, her and two others. This also confirms it here with the male and they know. They is more than one. I believe that there's somebody else that knows and is helping to cover things up, keep hidden from people. And this is somebody that she knows. This is somebody she had reunited with. And this is somebody that had a hand in this dissipation. Okay. I feel this male, this male came for revenge. Some kind of revenge and is evil, has some mental health issues. Okay. So that is describing this male. Okay. So now we're going to go for clarification into the messages, which are these cards up here. And then we will go into the cards that popped out when I was shuffling. So I'm going to ask the ancestors for a clarification into the messages regarding Angel Avery. Let's see ancestors for clarification into the messages regarding Angel Avery. Okay. So remember I said about three people. Party of three. This is just confirming it. But we're going to start up here on the head. Okay. So I'm seeing either somebody popped up or a change of plans. I'm taking this as a change of plans. Just because of what's come out. She was trapped. So this person trapped her somewhere. Okay. Okay. I get the neglect. I think she is telling us that she kind of knew how this person was. She knew she shouldn't have met up with this person. I feel she's met up with this person. Okay. And a fight ensued. There was a fight that happened. Okay. I see her and two other people. This just clarifies it, that there was three people involved. So there was her and two others. Okay. These people are evil. And this one male has like mental health issues. So he's going to be known to have some kind of mental health issue. Okay. But I believe there was a fight that broke out. Because of this fight, there was a change of plans. Somehow there was a change of plans and she was trapped. Okay. Now, looking, this is what we got to look into deeper. I get the help, okay? And I get the roads with traveling. So this guy, this male had help with disposing of her and bringing her. I see her, the roads tell me about traveling. The roads tell me about traveling. So they've taken her somewhere. So she's not going to be found, like, where she should have been is say she was at home or at work. She won't be found at those places. She's She was taken from there. And I feel she is trapped. Not only did they trap her, but I feel she is trapped somewhere. 
So I'm almost seeing like, see how it says dead end? I feel like this is going to be almost like a dead end street. And she's in something. She's trapped in something. Now, this is in the secret position. I get the happy. Which is sickening really because I'm getting happy this male is happy and these people that know are happy they've got away with this and I believe this is somebody that she reunited with she could have been in a relationship with this person in the past or had some kind of relationship this person <laughs> in some way shape or form had taken care of her in the past could have been happier times. So this could be somebody that was either in a relationship with her or somebody that helped take care of her. So let me just take a sip of my trusty. This is my coffee, you guys, for the day. You see what I'm running on? This is huge. Okay. So this is definitely somebody she reunited with. It's a male, and I'm believing it's somebody she could have had either a romantic relationship with or some kind of relationship that he was taking care of her, okay? And they're happy that they've, they've got away with this, and I think that she could have been happy in the past with this person, but she's neglecting things that she's come to know about this person, and she should never have met up with him because I see a, a fight, a fight, fight. Oh my gosh. Even her screaming for help. Okay. With this male and this other person involved. Okay. That helped move her or take her. So I'm almost feeling like this male called somebody to come and help him move her somewhere else. You see this dark, the dark tells me about things being covered up, hidden from people. And this is why I am saying she's trapped in something and it's near a dead end somewhere or somewhere that it ends, like the street ends or where she, this ends. It's an ending of something. And she was also trapped there. They've put her in something. <laughs> the reason that they're keeping all this covered up and hidden from people is to stay free. They're happy about being free and getting away with this. But there's other people that know, not just these two people involved, but there's other people that know. I don't believe this other person here that's involved. I don't think he killed her. I think this male here from her past killed her that was in a caretaker position at some point in time with her. He's the one that killed her. This other guy came to help, see the three, came to help and came to help him dispose of her. So maybe this guy didn't have a vehicle. And that could also say this guy popping up. This guy came. There's somebody else that came to help this guy. I don't think this guy had a vehicle. And they took her somewhere. They took her somewhere where she's been put in something and trapped. Trapped. Okay, I'm going to I want to go in for clarification. I want to go into clarification on this mail. Give me more information about this mail card. Why is it there? Okay. Hmm. This is what I've got when I asked for clarification on this male. As I suspected, the male is the perpetrator. 
the genocide tells me that he has caused harm before. Maybe even lethal harm. But I feel he has caused lethal harm or at least harm that's caused bodily injure, injury before. But he is the perpetrator. Okay? He could even pretend it, be pre pretending to be searching for her. This is somebody... Now, I believe people are going to know about this character of his of harming people. And I'm not just talking about giving somebody a punch in the arm. He's harmed people before, this perpetrator. This is somebody that she could have once been with, because I'm seeing a caretaker. This is somebody that she had met up with again recently, and this is somebody she knew. They... <laughs> Wow, this guy is the perpetrator, and he has done harm like this before. I believe they're still searching for him, and I believe that people know about this. And I'm going to say right now, for the people that know what he did, best come forward, because this is going to come out. Okay, I'm going to go into clarification on this fight. Why is that fight card there? why this fight card was here this fight was over money this is why she's gone missing and I believe she's still in the area the neighbor can tell me about the neighborhood it could tell me about somebody that lives next door across the street this tells me about somebody that was close to her okay from the neighborhood I believe she is still in the neighborhood and this was a fight over money something about money maybe she neglected to pay something okay but let me just bring these up i asked for clarification on the fight these are the two cards that come out neglect and fight this fight was over money i think it could be some money that she neglected to pay and this is why she went missing but i still see that she's in the neighborhood And that's with this male who's a perpetrator, and I see him causing harm before. So I don't know if drugs were related with this, but I feel that this guy has caused harm to people before, possibly even killed before, but he is definitely the perpetrator. Could pretend to be searching for her, or they're still searching for him. There's other people that know, okay? And these people are keeping things covered up and hidden from people. This perpetrator was also some kind of caretaker with her in the past. Somebody she recently reunited with. And you see this crow? Evil people. Revenge. So now I believe the revenge was over money that was owed. There was a fight with her. Okay. They've got her trapped. We're going to see what cards came out. Okay. I've got stop. Oh, shit. Sorry. Okay, you see this fight? This was a heated, aggressive fight, and there was nothing she could do to stop it. Okay? It was over this money with this perpetrator who has caused lethal harm or severe harm to somebody in the past, too. He's done this before. There's other people that know about it and are help covering it up. Okay? They're keeping him free. They're keeping him from being, they're keeping him happy by him not being caught. Okay? This guy is 
I am, I'm almost seeing him like a drug dealer of some type that hurts people if they don't pay. Okay, I'm going to go into... Why is this guy happy? Why is this perpetrator happy? was me you guys okay <laughs> okay so I asked why he is happy Okay, he's thanking some kind of official. Okay. And there's something about listen. I think he's threatened somebody in a position of authority. And he's thankful that this person is helping him to keep this from coming out. So I believe there could be somebody in an official position that knows something about this that is keeping things in the dark. For this perpetrator that's why he's happy he's got somebody i believe in law enforcement on his side that he's thanking so he might have threatened this person somehow but he has he's thanking an official for listening and keeping this hidden So I don't know if that has been an issue that you guys have thought that there's some kind of cover up. But this person is going to be well known. I think he's some kind of big wig. Like, but he's done this before. Okay. But this was definitely when I asked why the, this was here. What the fight was over, it was over money. That's why she went missing. I believe she's still in the area. And see this? There was no way she could stop it. There was no way she could stop it. There, was, It was a heated, aggressive argument, fight. Okay? These are the initial cards that come out. He, heated argument, fight, aggression. That's what the fire brings, or a physical fire. But I'm seeing as a heated, aggressive argument. And that comes out to describe this fight. The fight was over money. Three people. There's a perpetrator that I believe is the one who killed her. It's somebody that she had reunited with that was out for revenge. I believe it was over this money that was owed, I believe. But this other guy came in. He popped up to come and help this guy take her. Came to help him. And he's also helping cover this up, keeping it hidden. Okay, so that's my read. I hope that this has brought out some information that will help you um, find her, figure out who this perpetrator is. But I believe it's a male that she's re she had reunited with. I believe there was a fight, a heated that turned heated and aggressive over money. I feel she's trapped somewhere. She was taken somewhere and she was put in something. It's near a dead end. She was put into something. This guy had help with this other person. This guy popped up. So he, I think he, this guy called him to help him. Because I don't think this guy had a vehicle at the time anyway. I, f I see somebody coming with a vehicle to help dispose of her. To take her to be disposed of. I believe that there's somebody helping this perpetrator. That's in law enforcement. And they're helping cover things up keeping it hidden. That's why he's happy. And I believe that this person could have been either in a relationship or in some kind of caretaker role with Angel in the past. Okay? So I don't know if he helped take care of her. I don't know. I don't want to put this out there if it's not true. I don't know if she had a problem with drugs, but if she did, I believe that that's what this person, it was over money. 
and I see this person harming in the past. And even if Angel wasn't into the drug scene, this person is someone big in that scene. And I think people are afraid of him. And I think he's harmed people before, even maybe lethally before. Okay, but I see her trapped in something, in something at near a dead end. But it's still within the community, and I feel it was over the money. And this guy came to help move her. Okay, so that's my read, you guys. I pray that this helps bring out some information to help figure out who this guy is, who this other guy is that helped bring her to where they hid her body. But I do believe that there's somebody else in the legal authority position that he's thanking for helping him keep this covered up and keeping him free. Okay? And I believe there's even other people too that know. But this guy has some serious issues in the head. And he came for revenge. It's over money. Money, money, money. Okay? So I don't know if she owed money or if he wanted money from her for something. I don't know. But I know it's over money. And there was a fight which turned aggressive and heated. And I think he harmed her so bad that, you know, I think he just wanted to rough her up or whatever or really scare her or just harm her but not kill her. But change of plans when he, I think he went too far. He, he lethally harmed her. Change of plans. Okay, so that's my read. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. This is going to help um, me and my channel and for me to bring more reads um, to you publicly for free. It also, if when you hit the, the like and the notification, that helps rise the algorithm of the video, which gets this out to more people for more people to see. And it helps bring this read up to, you know, Places where in within YouTube that people are going to be able to find it easily. I ask that you do please share this out because I think there's a lot of information here that could help find not only who did this, but where she is. Okay? I pray for Angel. I pray for her family. I pray that she's brought home for a proper burial, a respectful burial. And I pray that these guys are found. Okay? Until next time, you guys, please take care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye-bye for now.